stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. I am so excited to share with you the Sew and Love stamp set as well as the Sew Detailed framelits. Of course you can bundle and save 10% when you purchase these together and trust me you will want to because they coordinate together so well and they're just so stunning. Perfect for any occasion but also super fabulous for weddings um, which of course we're getting into wedding season as spring and summer are right around the corner as well as uh, graduation, anniversary, uh, birthdays, and so much more. So here is the stamp set. So of course there's the amazing uh, greenery on the side and then you know how much I love flowers. And then there's those fabulous greetings. So enjoy and just for you and a day to celebrate are perfect for any occasion. And then of course you have congratulations and happy anniversary which um, and the so in love which are a little bit more um, you know lovey and everything too. So a little bit of everything in this amazing stamp set. And then of course I wanted to show you the three pieces in the framelit set. So there's these three here. This one is just absolutely stunning. Perfect for a gatefold and looks absolutely fabulous with any sort of paper, whether it's cardstock, glimmer paper, foil paper, designer paper, just super fabulous. Then this one is like a perfect little tag with those little hearts. Um, but you could also use it for so much more. But the one we're using today is actually this one. So this one here is actually what we used um, right across this card. So for this card you'll see um, I actually just trimmed off the little edges, but I want to show you how you can use it to create a fabulous belly band for your card. So my card here actually opens up just like this and everything sort of stays intact there on the front. But I'm going to show you uh, the same card, but we're going to actually create a belly band, which is another thing that you can do with this amazing framelit. So let's just kind of slide this a little out of the way. Okay, so let's get started on this card. I have it a little off to the side there. And then I have a soft sky card base. So that is going to be our um, base for the entire card. And then I have this piece of the Falling in Love designer series paper, which you can say, see coordinates very well with that stamp set because it has that beautiful flower pattern and then this amazing bokeh pattern there on the front. So this actually measures three and three quarters by five and a half. So it fits the card going up and down, um, but it's just a little bit in on either side. So I'm going to go ahead and add some snail adhesive to the back of this and place it on the front of our card. Oh, I'm out of snail adhesive. Hold on just a minute. I didn't think that would happen on film, but I guess anything can, right? So now I'm just going to place this right there um, in the middle of our card. And there's one little detail you might have missed when you first saw this card, and that is these fabulous little flowers peeking out right here. Do you see those back there? You can see a few up top here. And then you can also see some down in there. So I actually used the um, the little four flowers from the Sew and Love stamp set and just stamped some of those in Soft Sky. So just kind of randomly stamping them. I'm sort of going at a little bit of a diagonal here. And maybe one more. Sure. So there's those. Um, actually, now since I'm going to make this into a belly band, I'm going to stamp a few more randomly um, so it doesn't look so sporadic um, or so centered into that spot. Whereas with this one, since I created that belly or since I created that band that stays there, um, then you can't actually see, you know, the randomness of where they're stamped. But this one I'm going to do into a belly band, so I'm going to go ahead and um, and make sure that they're a little bit more random and uh, spaced all around. So then I took this piece here and die cut it out in a piece of very vanilla. And so that is this piece here. You can see it's got those tabs on the end. It actually, um, the framelit does not score those tabs. Just in case you want to use this for a larger card or a smaller card or anything. Um, so I went ahead and just put those in my Stampin' Trimmer and made sure that I went from the center and did four and a quarter. So I made my little tabs on the side with my um, score tool, which you could always use a ruler and a bone folder, um, you know, or anything like that to um, score the 
the edges of those. So then I folded those in on the score line that I created. And then I took a piece of very vanilla, and this measures one and three eighths by four and a quarter. And so you'll see that this actually is the same height as that, and then of course the four and a quarter um, for uh, the back side of the card. So I just placed a little bit of sticky strip right there so that I could adhere this down. You do want to use one of your stronger adhesives. Uh, you can use whatever one of your choice, whether that be uh, you know mini glue dots or sticky strip or fast fuse, just one that's maybe a little stronger than snail um, to make sure that you have that nice strong hold on your belly band since you'll be moving this around. And I'm just um, adding that to this little vanilla piece. So on the back we have the vanilla and on the front we have that fabulous detailed look. So now I'm going to stamp the greeting, the Just For You, and that was actually stamped in Crumb Cake. So I have my Crumb Cake ink here, and my Just For You, and I'm going to stamp that right in the center of this little image. Perfect. So now we can slide our little belly band around our card. And I hope I didn't make it too tight. Oh, I might have. There we go. It's working. It's a little tight, but it still works. I went a little in on the edge, like have, I have it a little too far over on this side, so I thought it might be a little tight, but there we go. So it has a little bit of some fold, but it'll kind of work its way out. I could always um, trim off a little bit of the card base um, on this side since I made that little boo-boo over there. Then for the ribbon, I used some of the satin vanilla ribbon, and I just did the little bunny ears and tied it into a bow. So there you have your little bow, and you can make it with the loops as big as you want. I cut a lot for this one. Uh, I think I'm going to go a little smaller on my bow loops so it doesn't sort of take over the front of the card. And I'm just going to add that to my project with a mini glue dot. So we're just going to, we're not going to touch the mini glue dot because otherwise we'll never be able to find it and use it again. So I'm just going to press the ribbon onto the mini glue dot and then press it right onto the edge of that little medallion. So like I did it like right on the edge right here. I don't want to do it on the lace piece or otherwise it'll stick through. And then I'm just going to trim the little tails here. And then I also used the Falling in Love embellishments. So that's these fabulous little things. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, and they have those rhinestones in the center that just make them so much more amazing. Do you see the bling in that? Love it. And I added that with some of the gold metallic thread. So I just looped it through one of the loops of the flower and then I actually looped it through the, um, the little intricate details of, of the framelit here. So I just laid it right up in there, looped it through with a little bit of the um, metallic thread and then you can see it kind of um, falls around, you know, like that. So, I mean, you could always make it tighter or, um, or more loose. You know, that's all up to you on how you want to do that. So here, this one, I have the regular card front there with the little fabulous detail. And then this one I have with that amazing belly band. So your, um, your person would just slide off that belly band and then they would be able to open their card. So super fabulous. A great way to use uh, the framelit and everything. And of course, use all of those amazing coordinators products like the ribbon and the embellishments and the designer series paper. So let me know which one you prefer. Do you like the uh, the wow factor of the belly band or do you like it where it's just nice and flat on there and you don't have to worry about sliding it off um, for the recipient? Let me know in the comments below which one your favorite is. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new as I post every Tuesday and Thursday. And of course I'll leave a link down below if you would like to purchase this bundle and save 10%. I'll also be posting all of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, as well as lots of other samples using this set. So be sure to check that out. Until next time, happy stamping. Bye-bye.